everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I'm reviewing Yankee Candle Home Inspiration Deck the Paws. So you can see there it's got the cute puppies on the front. A nice Christmas limited edition one little puppies so home inspiration that is the cheaper brand of yankee candle here in the uk um this was actually meant to be nine pound for a large jar 125 hour burn time slightly different design to the normal yankee candle uk jars but 538 grams 125 hour burn time and asda here in the uk actually put this on sale for four pound fifty for a large jar it is also available in wax melts as well, but I just got it because it was on offer when I went out shopping, so I just grabbed one. It's not often that I try the Home Inspiration Christmas scents. Um, I do get Home Inspiration periodically through the year, but it's not one that I aim to get all the time. But they've actually bought out some really interesting ones already this year, so you might be seeing a few more Home Inspiration ones, and the price is really good if they work out being a good scent, so definitely worth it but only if they're good so you can see i have been burning this under my lamp so the wick has sunk and disappeared and you can see there the color difference i think if i hold that there so this is the color it normally is but this is the color that the layer has gone that i've melted so this is ready to be tipped away now and that last little bit used up so the notes for this one i just read them all out because as usual yankee candle have put loads and loads of notes we have got orange grapefruit, juicy fruit blend, citrus blossom, red currant, freesia, floral musk, sheer woods, and amber. So for me, this wasn't a fruity scent. I wouldn't have even said it was Christmassy, to be honest. It was more of a fresh scent to me. Um, a lot of people on the, rev well, the reviews on the Asda website have given it like four or five stars. I didn't think it was that good. <laughs> It's not one of the best home inspiration scents I've had. Um, I've had much better. I'll put a couple of links down below to some other scents that I've had that I would highly recommend if you can get hold of them. But this one was a little bit weak for me. I don't know if it's because I wouldn't normally go for like the fresh sort of smells anyway. But for me, it just wasn't overly strong. But I was trying to fill a large space. So just behind me on this side, you can see that white unit there. So that's where I have my candle lamp. So there is no doors there. It comes all the way through into the kitchen where I am now and then the dining room. So it's got quite a long way to travel. So bear that in mind if you do get this one. It's probably going to be better in a smaller room. Um, well, for £4.50, if, if you get it and it's only suitable in a small room, you can't moan for £4.50. But paying the full price for these, they're not normally £9. They are normally about £13, I think. It, it depends what supermarket it is that's stocking them. Um, I'm just having a look now. So one website does them for £12.99. Asda was doing this one for £9. So the large jars normally range between 9 and 13 averagely. So if you paid £4.50 for this and it's only going to smell in a smaller room, I wouldn't complain. Um, I wouldn't have been happy if I paid £13 for it and got the smell that I did. So bear that in mind with this one. Um, I had it burning underneath my candle lamp. I don't think it would have smelt much if I was burning it by the wick. I do think the lamp helped it out quite a bit. So the main notes that I do get from this one are probably the freesia, the floral musk, the sheer woods and the amber, which is odd because that's the mid to base notes. So they're the ones that I shouldn't be able to smell as strong. But for me, that was all I got from this. It was just more of a fresh florally scent. I didn't get any orange, no grapefruit, no juicy fruits really in it for me. Um, it was a nice burn. It's one of them smells where you can smell it once you walk in the room, but it, it doesn't linger there. The smell doesn't really fill the whole room and you get that whiff of it when you're sitting there. It's a passing scent. You have to sort of come in, go out to smell it again. But for £4.50, I think if you can get it for that price and you're burning it in a smaller room and you're just not quite ready to give up those Christmas scents yet, I'd go and grab this from Asda. Um, there's a few other places selling it as well. Sainsbury sell home inspiration as well. And there's some other places online. So I think Tesco sell them as well. But this one, not the strongest I've had. There's been others, that I'll, like I say, I'll link them down below that I would much prefer if you listen to my reviews and you do buy based on what I say, then there's others that I would recommend a lot higher than this one. So 
For throw rating, probably give it, I don't want to be too harsh, but obviously, honesty, um, maybe a 5 out of 10. So a bit mean, but I think it would have been higher if it was in a smaller room. So do bear it in mind. But for my larger room and under the lamp, 5 out of 10 if I'm, if I'm lucky. I've I might be being a little bit generous there, but you could definitely smell something. It just wasn't what I was expecting it to be, and it's not one of the stronger ones I've had. But definitely worth it if you can get it for that price and you can burn it in a smaller room. So if you've tried this, let me know what you think. Um, I will be getting some more home inspiration scents soon as well, um, just because they are cost effective if they're good and i think it'll be nice for me to review a few more of them as well just to give people the choice because normal yankee candle large jars the price is going up and it's not great when they then don't smell good so as always thank you for watching let me know if you did get this or if you tried it in any of the other formats and i'll get some new reviews out for you soon